welcome back to Breaking Fallout. Sorry, it's important to stay hydrated in the wasteland. Um, in our last episode, we got ourselves a nice new nifty piece of equipment in the XO2 Tesla power armor. Yeah. So, um, we have a few more of these next-gen missions that are super awesome and worth doing. The next one we're going to do is When Pigs Fly. Um, this is going to open up some new weapons for us. And then eventually we're going to get to Echoes of the Past and finish that. Um, which we started getting the Hellfire Power Armors. But um, Echoes of the Past and the Best of Three, spoiler alert, they both end in the Glowing Sea. So we're going to try and get those done together. Which is why we're going to take a little break and do When Pigs Fly. Not to mention, this is a totally worth it thing. So, one more time, we're heading back to the Watts Consumer Electronics. Uh, you can go from the ruins of CIT, but we're just trying to get down here into Cambridge to meet a new vendor by the name of Suggs. Now, I must warn you, it is very possible for you to kill Suggs. I have done it accidentally because big explosions are kind of my thing. Um, I like them. Booms are nice. But, uh, he can be killed by you. So, he will be attacked at one point in time, which is why I am warning you of this. But, if he gets put down by an enemy, he's fine. So now here we are again at Watts. And we are heading south middle of the day, why did my spotlight on? Now our setup here is meant for combat, so your AP regen is terrible right now until you start taking damage. But we just need to track through. Why do I hear raiders? Where are you? Ah, uh, you have a spotlight. And you have a turret. Did that take out the spotlight too? It did. Watch out for the mines. They are everywhere. I remember in the good old days that used to get you experience, but then you could also get experience for setting it back out and doing it again. Alright. Aha! I see now. I've been seen as well. That guy looks stuck. Ow. I was just trying to hit the turret guy. Alright. Yeah. This new armor is awesome. How does one get up there? Stairs. Hey, that's always useful, speaking of which. That increase in strength will give us more damage output, and it raises our affinity with Kate, so. Did you jump down? He jumped down. Get him, Kate. He was legendary. Well, 
not the best thing to have freezing on. Where are you? Oh, really? Hey, look, more stairs. Coward. Trying to hide. Pretty sure... Nice, jet fuel. I'm pretty sure all that uh, terminal does is spotlights and turrets and... I think we got those taken care of. So, while I'm here, and the area is clear and I need to heal, why waste a stim pack? Let's just enjoy the cookout. Um, blood bug steaks. Cooked soft shell meat. Deathclaw omelet. Deathclaw steak. Come on. Grilled ragstead. Really didn't need to do that. I don't really need one of those. But why not? Um, energy resistance. And perception. We can also make ourselves a ragstad stew. That's better energy resistance, but we already made the uh, rad scorpion, and it's 25 as opposed to a 30. Five points aren't going to make the, you know, make or break us. I just tried to get into Kate's armor. Can we share it? Anyway, um, let's go ahead. We're going to skip the drugs this time. We're just looking to eat a Monster Hunter sized meal. We really don't need those. We don't have any radiation right now. We don't have any addictions either. Alright, I think that was it. So now that gives us, you know, some buffs to our special, and wow, we have serious intelligence issues. Oh, right, vodka. Negative two to your intelligence, but a plus two to your strength. So, that's not the worst thing in the world. It's a slight bit loss on EXP gain, but at this point in time, we could just go back and do more statues if we really needed it. Not to mention having a 13 in strength right now is pretty awesome. So, and us being drunk gives us that plus three to luck because of the uh, party boy. You can see I'm sitting on a level. I'm probably going to be sitting on that level until I have more levels to throw somewhere else. Um, I could also increase one of my special stats to get down to something else that's going to be useful, but right now the only thing I can think of that really complements our playstyle. We could put a plus two to strength and then get pain train and start working on it. But robots and oversized enemies are immune to the stagger anyway. Now the impact landing your enemy inflicting more damage is actually very OP. So getting a jetpack with the uh, explosive vents for your legs is just fun to jump around and act like you're some Super Mario. Um, yeah, there's really nothing that's going to help us out. If we were playing a female character, then Black Widow, the equivalent to Lady Killer, is very useful just because most human enemies and all super mutants are male for some reason. So... Yeah, um, there's really nothing, uh, never get vans, vans is useless, honestly, just because you can make your own path, it's just going to send you down roadways and railways, which does put you towards a lot of, um, random encounters, but, yeah, if anything, if anything I'd go for pain train. But I'm going to save up at least five levels. That way I can just perk out my single action rifles. 
and then perk out demolitions and try and find an explosive single action rifle. Who's next? Me or Kate? Either ways you choose your fate. Did I get lucky with doubles? All right, less action points on a double barrel. This is not bad, and junkies. Eh, are we? Are we having fun? This seems like work to me, Kate. You and I remember Budapest very differently. All right. So as we move on, there's some more spots for scavenge. Ow, Pikmin. So yeah, there's a um, serial killer on the loose. Besides ourselves. Um, <laughs> just let me let me make that distinction right now. Um, novice, that's for us. But yeah, there's a uh, a legendary. I want to say it's a combat knife. I know it's a knife of some sort. But there is a legendary knife at the end of that. Hmm. She liked that. And the vodka has worn off. Which is not entirely a bad thing. It gives us back our intelligence. So. If we come down into here, though, in this garage, you can meet Suggs. Now, he's uh, got a couple of weapons. Everything in here is stealing except for his med kit. So I'm going to take his med kit. But as you can see, everything else is stealing. So we don't need to talk to him, but I'm going to go ahead and get into his barter. I'm not going to buy anything, which is why I didn't get out of the armor to get the charisma boost. I just want to show that he has nail guns which is a very fast firing automatic pistol um, he should also have uh, he's got a very good selection of weaponry but what I am looking for is the saw blade launcher you heard me right um, it can come in a gauss powered version which is more powerful or an air powered version which is suppressed so enemies won't hear you um, but you do need to buy the nails and the saws from Suggs saw blades and nails but they are new and awesome options that are available what we are interested in though is the grenade launcher so if we come down here you can read how he opened for business, one of his buddies disappeared that was working with him and now there's word of a weapons dealer in Monsignor Plaza so now we are heading for Monsignor Plaza which is not far away at all, this is actually quite a self-contained mission we just have to get to the other side of the uh, crater here which is stuffed full of ghoul so let's have some fun Hey, everybody, come get blended. Anyone else? Well, if they get close, Kate will take them. So let's go ahead and grab these spoilers. Ooh, he was legendary? You didn't drop anything. What? We got gypped by a glowing one. You know what? <laughs> ah, I do love Kate. Alright. So there is a chest down here. And now we can climb out of the rubble. Hopefully. 
Nope. Mayhaps over here. Oh, come on. Where's a horse when you need one? Wait, wrong Bethesda game. Um. <laughs> so now we're going to hop over here. If we can fit, we cannot. No, oh, we can fit around this way. Sheesh, you're a psycho. I love it. Alright, so... Because someone just threw away their last two fusion cells. So there should be guys on the roof. Which... I'm not entirely sure how I would get up there without the use of a jetpack. But we're going to come in this way. You would think the Tesla damage would hit him up there. Kate, are you walking into me? No, I was hitting the body. Oh, I can hit it. Cool. Yeah, the explosion knocked Kate down, though. That's not cool. Alright, move. Lassie, come on now. Take some rat away. This is for the turrets. Uh, 38 rounds. Yeah, and the guys on the uh, roof probably heard us. Let's go ahead and go into Monsignor Plaza. Yes, I think that's how you say that. I didn't take French. If that's even French, I don't know. I didn't take it. Okay, so... Who? Hey? What? Playtime indeed, Kate. Playtime indeed. Oh, don't run away. You saw I pulled out of something. Jeez, no mercy. That critical damage is nice. Wow, this guy giving you trouble? Never mind, forget I said anything. Alright. <laughs> so when you get in here, you're going to have a couple of turrets and bandits to deal with. Kate. Alright, you know what? Go get him. Y you have fun. Yeah, we might as well turn on the lights. Shock and all. So there's a turret here. And also Marvin's store security, which they are trash. They're literally level ones most of the time. But be careful coming in here there is a scale connected to a grenade bouquet but you can go ahead and grab anything that's useful to you um, the piggy bank mines are powerful I just don't use mines like that but what we want is the frag grenade and Marvin's note um, there's usually a pipe grenade launcher oh it fell so and it being rapid is great the fire rate doesn't matter because it's a single shot, but the reload, the reload is incredibly useful, and not to mention this is just an awesome weapon. So let's go into stealth mode, let's go into weapons, and I'm looking for the rapid grenade launcher. Now I'm surprised that this fella at the end of the hall. Yeah. We're going to aim for the feet, just because if we miss, we should still get her in the... Yep. You can see she needed a stim pack right away. And this isn't even an upgraded version of the weapon. This is base. So...
But yeah. Now, we're going to be getting a better version of a grenade launcher here shortly. But, this version of the grenade launcher, I'm just checking to see if there's anything we can scavenge. I mean, technically, between the cooking station and the chem station, we can make a whole bunch of good stuff. But yeah, this version of the... Ooh, tripwire I didn't see. Or no, it's probably a tension trigger. No, it was a tripwire. But this version of the grenade launcher can be suppressed. So if you're going with a stealth build that also has demolitions, it's a really good fit. Yeah, we're taking rads, I know. Wait, wasn't there a key? That's what I was looking for on the counter. I forgot. But we blew everything up, so the key went flying. Well, at least I messed myself up before I gave somebody else the chance, right? Shouldn't be hard to find it. Ooh, whiskey. Shouldn't be hard to find it. It's on a little quantum keychain, I do believe. Huh. Well, fooey. Of course, we don't have to leave out of that exit. <coughs> Excuse me. As a matter of fact, let's not leave out of that exit. Trying to remember how to get to the roof access, but I want to say it involves an elevator. Yeah, it does. Now there should be. Oh no! Here's the guy we shot. Oh, there was a staircase. There would be. And yet another crafting station in here. Ooh, bobby pins. Just a biometric scanner hanging out. Alright, so... Oh, They're holding a little baby my lurk. It died. So now, when we head out here, there should be a few guys on the roof. And then we just need to head back in the direction of Marvin's store. Or not Marvin's store, Sug's store, to take care of Marvin. That's what I meant. It's a cutthroat business, apparently. Only one? Hmm. There's usually two or three. But, now we need to head back towards... You okay? Oh, that's right, she's not used to falling. Again, Kate's not used to being in power armor. So, there's that. So... Now that we're heading back, can you see the billboard over there? That's where we're trying to get to, is that rooftop. Now there's a couple of ways to get up there, but one of them is got mines and other traps. So actually we need to go around the hole. There's usually some row raiders in there along with the frag mines they both go off yeah they both went off Ooh, melon oh 
Pirates of Caravan Brahmin. So, right now we're trying to get up into one of these buildings. Trying to remember the back way in, because we're trying to get up to this building and go across that radio tower. I just don't recall how to do that. Probably for the Tesla arc. Nope. Aha. That was for the Tesla arc. Combat shotgun ain't bad. Several grenades. Did y'all just blow yourselves up? Ah, raiders. Wait, there's another one. Yeah, because the hunting rifle, what's the other trigger? Hmm. There's a bathroom scale as well. That was probably for the... Oh, that was for the grenades they... Yeah, that explains why. Yep. Because there's the bouquet string. Now from here, we should be able to head across. There we go. Now you got it. Oh, I forgot. He has the piggy bank launcher. So I was trying to get there quickly, but I got snagged on something. Might have been the best idea to snipe him out before he saw us. But then his henchmen will pick it up too. Watch, we're all the way back at Monsignor. Yep. You didn't even see me? Okay. Let's try this again. Huh. Wild dogs this time. Interesting. Well, there's some um, raiders I was talking about. And a ghoul. Fun times. Alright, so... There was the Brahmin that stuck. Wasn't this house? Huh, I didn't notice that. So wait a second. What is, what is your deal then? Who's taking care of you? Well, that's terrible. Welcome to the wasteland. Okay. Just for the experience. Messing his own stuff up again. Really? I'm cooking him from here? That's cool. Just because they're experience.
is because that is weighing us down. I always forget to put my mods away. But that does allow you to uh, swap mods on the fly. So, that is useful. Please autosave. Thank you. Alright. Let's take a different tactic against Marvin here. That's not Marvin. We gotta make sure we take Marvin down first. Now, if you went up this staircase, you can see he has piggy bank mines everywhere. So we're gonna try and do this slowly. I see both his henchmen. There's him. What? Yeah, what indeed. Oh no. And the auto aim got me. Yep, followed his henchmen. Well, it's not the best option, but it looks like we're going to have to go for a Blitzkrieg. Cool. Where'd that other guy go? All right, Blitzkrieg for the win. So Marvin fell down, which is not the worst thing, but Piggy Bank Fat Man, uh, it allows you to make more uh, ammo because mini nukes are rare and then he'll give us some piggy bank bombs but what we're interested in is his grenade launcher schematics and now more of his store security will come down here and attack Suggs ow whenever that happens and one of them has the baseball launcher sometimes it is faster just to do your bash but yeah that's what was staggering us was the baseball launcher and the modified baseballs and just baseballs are its ammo it is actually quite a fun weapon to play with and it has a benefit of the ammo you expel being baseballs means that you can go and pick them back up so you don't have to worry about ammunition um, also it can be uh, modified to have a flaming baseball option so not only does that add fire damage but that also uh, they stay on fire it's easier to see them and pick them back up uh, it is counted as a heavy weapon so there's that little bit of knowledge and this is something I didn't know until recently oh hi Marvin um you can see here these are wild mute fruits this isn't and you can actually see the distinction how it's been pruned from the bottom and whatnot and those are just overgrown but yeah there's a piece of non wild mute fruit there I guess Suggs is taking care of it but now that we've gotten his grenades grenade launcher schematics back He's going to give us the penetrating Chinese grenade launcher rifle. So, uh, also, I'm going to need to... Got any more grenades? Four? You have four grenades? Well, it's something. Um, and, of course, we're still sitting on so many of these Meyerlerk stakes. But the uh, benefit here, um, the Chinese grenade launcher actually has a bigger clip and can be multi-fired. Caution? Why? Who doesn't like me throwing grenades about? Um, 
but when it comes to the single fire again it can be silenced or it can be suppressed um, so that I can get the damage from uh, the Mr. Sandman perk because it can make your silenced weapons do bonus sneak attack what damage so if you can get the drop on them it is awesome but uh, the Chinese grenade launcher will always be a rifle you can't modify it otherwise the pipe grenade launcher can be a pistol so if you're doing pistols here's your big boom option but yeah there's a bunch of weapons that were added in. We've got two grenade launchers, the baseball launcher, and then you can also buy the nail gun and the saw blade launcher from Suggs, who is yet another vendor now. I don't know why he doesn't have his own fast travel location. Um, he is nestled near a bunch of fast travel locations. So... It's not too hard to get to him. Oh, and also the piggy, man, uh, the piggy bank attachment for the fat man so that's technically six weapons but one of them is just an alternative something is detecting me uh, that's you're too far out there I'm not gonna hit that that's still a coin toss uh, we'll go with it. Oh, I only needed the first one. That figures. Can I hit him through the wall? No. Uh, nice. Now, while doing vats with this, you just need to get close anyway. Which is one of the reasons this is nice, but it is also short on ammo. But now that we have these weapons unlocked, it should uh, be added into the RNG. Oh, come on, I thought there was... Hey, that's advanced. Kate. Kate. Hey, Kate. See, I'm here in the Raider 2. Are you down? Yeah, yeah, you are. What the what? Why? Oh, yeah, I threw a grenade near a car. Did you get... Come on. You having trouble? Oh, is it? Hey, I don't want excuses, I want results. Really? I have to... You know what? Okay, fine. Well, where'd he go? Hi. Aw, oh, really? Get him, Kate. Okay, so now that we got that taken care of... Honestly, I just wanted to, uh... Get that mission out of the way. Show you guys... There's some new trinkets for us to play with. Yeah, I'm not too worried about what's in that safe. But hopefully you found this informative and entertaining, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.